All right, YouTube verse. It's your boy Tim Diggity, aka TIM. So, got my parts. Like I said in the video earlier, got the parts for the X7 and for the Y10. I, you know, as much as I like taking them apart, I hate taking them apart. Let's go ahead and take them apart. Put the chain swap out. Well, we got to swap out on both. I'm gonna try and give y'all a little bit of film on both. You know, so you can see what it's like. Especially the X7. I mean, the Y10, I think I did a pretty good, okay job video in taking it apart and messing with stuff. But we're going to change the ports out on that this time. I didn't show y'all when I swapped them out the last time. But, uh, all right. So, go ahead. Uh, like, subscribe. Stay tuned for, for more if you want to see what's going on. All right. All right. I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So, let's start off with uh, removing the seat, right? I always put it on there pretty tight where I need to use some kind of tool to help me. So you want to pop that up, slide that down. And what you want to do as well, is pop this over, take that out. So because I, uh, I did that, oh yeah, <laughs> push this button in another safety feet. That's how you would put it down if you were going to ride with the, if you were going to ride with the uh, bracket on there, but not with the seat itself. So I got the scoot up in there. I got my 10 millimeter. Um, just got to find the right tools again. You would think, you would think by now I know, but uh, yeah, no, not exactly. Got a magnetic bowl, although none of the screws are magnet or metal. There's some other kind of something rather, but it's all good. I know I'm not tripping. So anyway, so to find the two, this is for that, for where the, um, the seat goes, then the smaller one for the rest of it. So, all right, don't forget there's a nut at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the board apart. You guys have seen that enough. All you're really doing, oh, it's metal shaving. All you're really doing is going around, taking them all off and two down here. All right, I'll be back. I took the seat off already. The seat's over there. So, all right, so these are the bolts. These, these are the bolts for the, um, for the seat, they're round at the top, and it's longer than the normal bolts. All right, as well as uh, this one has a flat head to that head head. All right, so I'm gonna leave those there, and I'm gonna take. Uh, uh, you gotta don't forget to unplug stuff like me. Like I always do. All right, there's three wires to unplug, two for that little kick plate that lights up and one for the board. All right. So I want you guys to see the difference in the screws that have the, uh, the, nut, the nut on them as well versus the other one. All right, so these are the three different uh, types and lengths, all right? So the two flats are what go around the board and on the kick plate, okay? The one that has a rounder head is for the, um, it's for the mount for the seat, all right? Now, the rounder head is longer. So the longest screw goes to the seat. The middle screw goes to all of the other, well, not these, but these four here. They're the ones that have an, um, a nut and a bolt to them outside of the rounded head ones. All right. So just remember that 
you know, especially when you're putting them together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, because uh, these here, these four, they're the same length as this. So you'll have six of the short ones. You'll have four of the medium ones with a, with a nut at the end and four of the longer ones with the round head with a nut at the end for the, for the mount, for the, um, the seat. All right, so I'll take the rest off and I'll be back. All right, folks, so all the screws are out, right? They're all out. So now I'm just gonna take the top off and this is where I was saying, this was plugged into one of these little wires over here. Let me turn the camera slightly. So one of these wires was plugged in over here. So that's how you disconnect the board. So you can take it out in two pieces, the top piece and the plate, but don't forget the, the gasket, okay? Now the gasket, if you don't, if you sit it down the way you took it off, you won't be out there trying to figure out why it won't, why the holes don't line up, which I do every time. And I'm end up doing it again, all right? So here we go. And it still smells burnt in here. All right, so one thing I am gonna do this time that um, I'm gonna wrap the box that was given, which is this box in uh, electric tape. I'm gonna wrap all of them, I'm gonna wrap this other box as well. All right, let me get my tools. I, so I gotta get some uh, a Phillips head screwdriver and um, I think that's it. I'll be right back again. All right, folks, so remember, safety, safety, safety. I don't know if you can tell, these are the battery plugs, so I put tape around them, right? So uh, that's just me now. I'm just being a little overcautious, and I'm going to do it again, most likely, afterwards, because this is a big battery on this on this scooter. I mean, it's 8,000 watts, so it's a 72-volt battery. Um, I can't, let me see. 72-volt, 45 amp hours. All right, and the input is 84 volt, eight amps. I don't know what that means, but yeah, that's what it says. So don't forget, unplug the battery before you start doing any work. All right, and keep in mind, there's still some charge to the controller, all right? So remember I said they sent me the, they sent me a, all right, I knocked that over. They sent me a controller and they sent me two ports to replace, all right? And both the ports on here are gonna be replaced. The reason I'm starting with the X7 and not the Y10 is because the very top port on, that's on here now, I took off the Y10. So I'm gonna take it back off of here and what I'm gonna do is put it to the side and then I'll end up putting it on the Y10 and I'm gonna replace and I'm gonna take the other port out because they're, they're trash anyway and take the port that I, the top port out the Y10 and throw those away because for whatever, I don't know why, but they, they just stopped working. So I don't know, maybe I'll, no, nah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But yeah, pretty much. So another wire mess of stuff here. So yeah, so stuff was just getting hot, you know, just just melting into itself on this thing here. So this this another thing I did, you know, I'm not saying I was riding or anything while I was waiting for these parts. I'm not saying nothing like that at all. But somehow I did, you know, tape up this little um, distribution block. And I'm most likely gonna do the same thing with that one as both of them, the new one and that one, just to be safe. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take all that tape and uh, get some things together and I'll be right back. All right, so what I'm gonna do, as you can see here, if you, hopefully you can see that this was burnt. So I think that something in here touched. Well, actually what happened was these two weren't tight. This, this nut right here, that nut right there was loose and the wires were like doing like that. And I think they hit against this back wall, which is metal. And that's why when I went to charge in, uh, plug in the chargers, they, it shorted out. But you can see this here was uh, doing something that shouldn't be doing anyway. You see it? So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do some things with this. I'm gonna switch it out and I'm gonna put the new one in here they gave me, which uh, feels a little more heavy duty actually. I don't know why they, you know, messing around with this kind of stuff with that little box. So I'm gonna flip, I'm gonna switch that out and I'll be right back. All right, so I got it back together I and put some tape on the wire that was the one that was acting up as well. You know, I'm just safe and sorry is what I am right here. You know, so now I'm just going to put the cover on here, which the last one, which uh, it was just clipped together. It had little clips on it. This one screws down. So, I mean, does it make it better? I don't know, but uh, 
you know, as long as the contacts make make contact, then I guess we we are GTG, good to go, you know. So, all right, I'm gonna button it up and we'll be back. All right, so to get to the ports, you gotta take out one of the controllers. At least that's what I had. To do. So here's one of the controllers to get this mess of wires out the way, you know, and it uh to move everything over and you have a little more access to it and there's another controller down here a little small one now i didn't i didn't try to get to actually maybe i'll take them both slide them both over out the way but i didn't try to get to the other one the way they, the way they put their wires in here this is the brake i don't really want to mess with that but uh yeah so the bottom one it's got some kind of uh it's got a silicone or something on there, you know, around it to keep it, I guess, from backing out. But, you know, at this point, I'm not really caring about that. I'm going to unplug it anyway. So, you guys can't, you can't really see what I'm getting at there. But down, down in here is some silicone that's covering around the screw to the, to the port itself. So around the screw the thread right here around the thread part is like some kind of silicone or hard plastic probably just to keep that from backing off but you know no harm no foul all right i gotta get something else to get it off i'll be back a flathead screwdriver all right all right so i had to get a 19 inch uh box end wrench to get the um the ports off now i will say take the first well of course you have to but take the top one off and it'll make it a lot easier to get to the bottom one. The only thing that I'm trying my best not to do is drop anything metal. You know, any of these nuts or the washers, the screws, anything down in the box. Because the last thing I need is something, you know, going around sparking. So this was the bottom one. This is the bottom one. Which uh, turned out to be, you know, the bottom one turns out to be the bad one. So we're just going to toss that. The good one's already taken out. I already took the good one out. My fault. In case you guys didn't know, I already took the good one out. All right, so now I just got to put them back. So now we're going to start with the brand new ones. All right, so just the opposite, really. These even have washers to them. Get some. Hmm. Let me just compare here real quick. Oh, this has a rubber wash. I don't know. Yep. Okay. So. So what you want to do. I'm going to take the washer out. The nut and the washer right there in case you can't see it. The two. And you want to take the wire. And flip it through the hole. You know. That's what keeps the cap on there when you go, you know, to, to um, take the cap off and stuff. And it also acts like a rubber washer, see? So that way there, the cap doesn't fall off, you know? So we'll go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put these two on and I'll be back. All right. So I put it all back together. All right. Now, one of the things I did, oh, a couple of things. I taped the connectors for the, for the ports. I hope you can see it. The connectors for the port and to the batteries and tucked everything back down in here somewhat close anything that's close to something that's metal or something that's got power i put tape around it electrical tape all right try and smash all that back down there it's interesting how they cram all this stuff in here but i guess it works because that's how they have it all right now one of the things i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and adjust the camera now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna test it you know, I'm going to test it out to um, see whether or not everything works. So I got the lights on. You know, you see the headlights are on and stuff. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test out the uh, the throttle to make sure that the motors work. So I already tested it. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. I already tested it. So I'm going to spin it, kick that. And I'm going to kick the back. So there's the back wheel moving. The front wheel moving. All right, it's in uh, it says miles per hour. 
and that's uh wow if that's right gear one is doing 50. so let me go to gear two yeah that, something ain't right there nah, nah. all right in gear three Yeah. Now, now either all that time I wasn't getting all the all the juice that I was supposed to get, and um, I'm about to be out here doing bananas. I'm not. I'm not. But I potentially could. But then again, I never really took it up to three, you know. But either way, so I'm gonna put the board back on, put everything else back together. You know, you guys already know how to do that. It's the opposite of the way I did it. So. All right, but I'll probably clip in every now and again when I think it's a spot that you guys should remember. All right, so uh, I'll be back. All right, so I, I forgot to mention, I'm gonna try the chargers out to make sure that these ports work, to make sure that they're gonna charge before I put this other one back in the Y10. Now, one thing that I will say that I gotta get in the habit of doing, and everyone should as well, honestly, is plug it in to the scooter before you plug it into the wall, all right? Now, I'm, I'm hoping that, that that little run I just did was enough to, you know, drain the battery, a little bit at least. So I'm gonna unplug the bike that I currently got to charge in here. All right, so I hear the fan came on one. That's a good sign. So that's the top charge, the top port that I changed. All right, I'm gonna unplug here because I'm not, not getting the good and fuzzy from the bottom one. Now it's two sides to the battery as well though. That's the only thing. So let me see, let me make sure the charger works. So this charger I plugged into the top. Huh. Let me try this one again. Oh, so perhaps the battery's full. Jeez. Oh, no, there it is. It just came on. And then it went off. And then it came on. All right. So the top one definitely isn't charged yet. Let me try this other one again. The light is on. Huh. Okay. All right, well, let's see one more time here. Something different. I'm gonna put that one to the side. And I'm gonna bring this one. I think, well, this was a new one anyway. Let me see. That might have been huh, an old one. But we're gonna see anyway. All right. Again, I'm not getting the warm and fuzzies here. Well, perhaps it's finally charged completely. All right. Well, I'm going to have to run it down a little bit and test it. I want to do that before I uh, before I put it back on. Before I put the, everything back together, I'm going to run it a little bit and try and drain the battery to see, make sure that they're charging. All right, I'll be back. All right, so... I thought I was going to have a third charger, but one of them's not working, but at least two, excuse me, at least two work and both the ports are working. So 
Now I gotta say, doing that speed test up in the air, maybe it's different, but um, this bolt, I don't know where it came from, this nut, but it was, it was on the floor over here. I don't know if it was there already or what, but I gotta look around now because this joint was vibrating like crazy up in the air. You know what? I found exactly where it came from. Let me show y'all what the hell is going on here. Can you see it right there? It came off of that right there. Ain't this some madness here? Wow. And that's that's the that's the uh the strut, the bit the rear support, man. They try to murder me. Yo. Yo. It's a 19 at least, so I can tighten that up. Oh, Nelly. I mean, I, you're supposed to, you should go over all of your, um, oh, shoot, it's spinning on both sides. You should go over all of your, uh, your bolts when you receive stuff anyway. Oh, man, I got lucky, hey? Got lucky here. I got the right tools out. Tighten this thing up. Yo, they trying to come at me, dog. Wow. So I wonder, I don't know. Was that already coming loose? You know? Was I about to be out there, hit a bump, and be like, but blank, blank? Maybe this was that noise that I kept hearing in the back, too, right? Huh. So many things. Now they got me scared to ride. Tighten them down. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, actually, I'm gonna try that speed test again now. <laughs> How about that? See if it vibrate all over the place. Yeah, it still do. So, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and put it back together, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. All right, so I had to change out the battery on the GoPro, but uh, like I told y'all, this is what I'm doing here. I'm just uh, changing the board, you know, putting the board back together. All right, so once that's done, then I'll come back to you, and we'll, uh, I don't know if I'll go outside for a ride. I don't know if I'm there yet, but yeah, we'll get there. All right. All right. I just want to show you one thing. I always forget these two screws that go right here. I always forget to tighten them before I put this back kick plate on there or light or rest or whatever you want to call it. All right. So that there, and there's also a plug down in here that you might not be able to see. Remember I was talking about what it's, it's what attaches the board to the, um, the light on the board to the battery. So you want to make sure you plug that up first as well. All right, all right, I'll be back. All right, folks, here it is, back together. The Y7. Get her done. Let me turn the display on, make sure that works. Okay, first try. All right, it works, it works. No, there it is, lit up. Let's see if we can change the color. Oh, party. Party time. Slow it down. Solid. I don't know how to. So I'm just pushing buttons, y'all. Okay. You can do a couple things. I like it. All right. So. So. I mean, I'm a. I shouldn't. I know I, every time I say I should, and I go out there and fall. <laughs> but I'm going to go around the block real quick. Just real, real quick, real quick, real quick. Yeah, I'm going to see if this uh, crazy speed that I'm getting on the speedometer on their gauge is something to fear, you know? So, uh, wish me luck. I'll be back. All right, so to wrap it up, whoa. Let me, I don't, look, mm, 
either I one forgot how fast the X7 was or that distribution block is giving a jolt to this joint because uh that joint is scary fast now I ain't even gonna lie you know I look I'm, I'm gonna just give you a little glimpse I never got out of second gear again first gear got me up to 40 now it was 35 34 now it's 40 and second gear I stopped at 46 because we look I'm gonna show you the look shoot nah I, I I don't know if I'm ready for all of that. You know, I like I like to ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm brittle. I'm brittle. You know, and I'm falling a lot. So, but I, I'll say this though: the chargers, you know, the two that came, they're both working. See, they're red, and the, they're red, and the fans are blowing. But now the one charger that I had left over from the other one, that ain't working. But I did realize something too: I didn't install that controller oops we'll see if we need it or not I, i'll put it over there with the other stuff they sent me that i ain't put in on the scooters yet you know because so far it's so good so all right like subscribe hit that button please comment you know help me out help me out one more time help me out all right so uh tim diggity aka tim yumi x7 back on the streets it's cold out there but uh I had on uh I had on what I my sh my shirt I'm wearing, then I had on that upper armor, that fox body upper armor, whatever it's called. Then I had a hoodie on, then I had a jacket with a hoodie on. Look, if I was gonna take an L this time, dog, yeah, it was gonna tear some stuff up. But I was trying to cushion me. Shoot, I must around get some wrist wrist guards and knee pads. Look out here looking all. I ain't gonna say it, but you know what I mean. So again. Hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, I, I'll do the Y10 tomorrow because, you know, I, I got to, I'm off tomorrow, actually, you know, I got somewhere to go that might take about three hours, but, you know, I needed to take nine for three. That's how it be, but I got the time to burn anyway, so peace out, y'all. Holla.